Any volunteers? If not, I do it. All I'll right, thanks, record. man. All right, okay, so January 7th, 2020. I'm resisting a 2020 pun. The candidate metrics are under release. And Kevin, do you want to tell us a little bit about that and maybe remind us of the process and whatnot? Okay, yes, just a second. Let me, uh, let me pull up the, uh, the release page. So for this, for this release, we actually do have a, it's a shortened release period. Uh, in the past, we, we had a- Shortened a review 30, period, you mean? Yeah, re review period, sorry. Uh, in the past, we had a, uh, a 30 day review period. Uh, for this one, I believe we're at about 24 days. Yeah, slightly shorter, but. Okay. I am pasting the, uh, the website link right now. Perfect. Okay. Uh, any, if you have any comments about the structure of the web page, please, uh, please let me know. You can do that by uh, opening an issue in the website repository or, or creating a pull request to fix it. So, are these? Um, This looks like the metrics that are already released to me. So we, uh, we uh, for uh, for the metrics releases, we release we release the complete set of metrics, right? So right. The, this release any... includes the metrics that were uh, that were released uh, last uh, last release as well. So I guess there's I don't think we have any common metrics released. So we have two common metrics. We right. have some common metrics released. Yeah, there's two. Is that right? Yeah, I think so. Uh, and it looks like Evo Evolution, I know, re thinks they released more than, because I think there's only one more here than was in the previous release. Uh, Evolution did some restructuring as well. Yeah. This uh, doesn't so seem yeah. like the complete list, honestly. It may not be so. I'm I'm pulling this list from the uh, from where? Sorry, from, I, I from lost the spread you. from the spreadsheet that. Uh, okay. So. All right. So the, there the, might be the a spreadsheet state that... should be the spreadsheet should be the definitive list of uh, what's being released. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I actually for uh, for risk I actually did make a comment for one of the metrics. Yeah. Uh, it looks like. Uh, one of the metrics that was released in the last release for risk is not being released in this uh, cycle. That, I don't know if that's make, on that, purpose. That would, no, or, that would make no sense. I've, so I think there's a not a shared understanding, at least for evolution and risk of what's supposed to be in the spreadsheet. Here, let me, let me share the spreadsheet real quick. Uh, so okay i see so it's nothing has been changed but there shouldn't be anything that's coming out of release that we wouldn't have done that so in in risk you have the uh you have that one spdx document and transparency yeah i was one i'm wondering if that uh so we have that we have, metric was so, supposed to uh replace so risk that. has risk has one two three four five, six, seven, eight metrics that are listed as ready on the spreadsheet I'm looking at. Right. So there's only four on the website unless I'm looking at the wrong thing. Risk has, okay, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then on the website. I see four unless I'm, is everyone else seeing this? Is it just me? Am I four. stupid? There are four in risk. Yeah, it doesn't seem like the website's up to date with so the uh, business risk so code eight are in four categories if you count in each category total becomes eight so for example in the focus area business risk you have two metrics committers and elephant factor so if you count all of these okay. in four categories right. it becomes eight okay all right i see i see okay that's the focus area is okay i'm sorry now i'm getting it I wasn't scanning down to focus area. I was, I was thinking those were 
focus. It says focus areas. I'm an idiot. Okay. All right. So, yep. Each each released metric then has a set of issues related to it. Does everyone else see in this? So I guess the, the main point is that um, uh, excuse me. All right. So the main the main point is that um, we should be reviewing these and adding comments where we have comments prior to release. Right. Is anybody there? Uh, yes. Yeah, I'm here. All right. Don, any thoughts, comments? No, I'll be honest. I still have to go back through and look at look at the release page and, and dig into it. Yeah. I, um, that with, I was looking. With Pivotal being page. acquired by VMware on the 30th, that has oh. pretty much sucked up all of, all of my time. Well, I missed that news flash. Congratulations. Yeah, sure. So, Sean, in, in the previous release, uh, RISC released the, the bill of materials. Yep, and there's... Metric? Uh, right, I think we may have changed the name of it to yes, license did. coverage or something. Oh, is that what it is? It's called license coverage? Um, yeah, I think... I wasn't I think, sure if it yeah. was that or if it was the SPDX document. Well, I guess it would. Yeah, you're right. It's the SPDX. Well, the metric itself shouldn't have been taken down. Uh, it just should have had its name changed. Okay. So it, it so, is. And I thought SPDX deck. So I guess I have to go through this and make sure this is complete from a risk perspective. And I can do that offline. Okay. And I guess, yeah, some of it. So some of the working group people who are starting, this is day two of the real work week again. We'll, we'll get our stuff. I'm going to get my stuff together this week. This is going to be a great year. I can feel it. <laughs> Kevin, you're on mute, by the way. So I don't know if you're auto muting or what. Uh, Van Vinod and I are in the same room. So I'm, uh, uh, if I'm not talking, I'm, I'm trying to mute immediately. Uh, uh so if, if he talks, we don't uh, echo. Got it. Got it. Uh, so oh, as so as I was saying earlier, the uh, the review period is shorter. It's it's twenty four days. So yeah. the next the next step now would be to ask the uh, ask the working groups to go through and make sure that the release, as it appears on the website, is how they would like it to look, uh, and that the the detail pages that that are uh, displaying are correct. And then following that, we would also ask everyone to, uh, to kind of go through the list and, and make some comments on uh, especially metrics outside of their, their own work group. Yeah, I, th I think that's important. I'll make a point to go through all of them. Uh, so during this period, uh, so the, uh, the metrics freeze, just to be clear, the metrics freeze means that we are not going to be releasing any new metrics other than the ones that are here. However, yeah. that does not mean that we cannot do work on the metrics that we are releasing. Yeah, although I, I think if there's one that we've lost for some reason, I will put it back. So we, we can be working on these and editing them. Yeah, software bill of materials is still a metric in risk. And I know that it's a hot button, but the only thing we would do to it is change it. We wouldn't remove the existence of a metric. Okay. Um, so I wasn't sure if it was being replaced with SPDX document. That may uh, be the intention. The was. Um, okay. SPDX document has the most recent version of the, uh, the do Google document has the most recent version of the metric at okay. this point. So, and as far as the, as far as the spreadsheet goes, it says that that SPDX document detail page is, is metric is not ready for release. So yes, I, we have to put it in the GitHub repository first. We're rolling back the uh, the software bill of materials metric from the previous release. Yes, we are. Okay. 
So I think uh, as far as uh, I know, so Matt is uh, Matt is putting together the uh, the release notes document. It would be very mm -hmm. helpful if you were to send him a note with that type of information, uh, so that he can uh, in his release notes he can say that we rolled back one metric for risk. Yeah, we're not going to roll back a metric for risk. We're going to not we're not going to unrelease a metric. That doesn't make any sense. Then just uh, yeah. update the spreadsheet and let me know, and I will yeah. I will fix it on the website. So there's a Google Doc for like I don't yeah I guess we can discuss this in the risk meeting or I can just fix it. But we would at most we would just change the name of of a current document. We wouldn't or a current metric. So, all right. What's the next agenda item? Next is kiosk on. Um, so who, I know I've kind of been involved in kiosk on. Are we moving right along? Is there, I don't think there's anybody from Grimoire Lab on today. Is there? My assumption is that we should be moving right along. I don't think that there's anything really, um, there's not much left to do from kind of a right. organizational standpoint, aside from promotion and getting people registered, but I don't have access to the number of people who are registered. I think Georg has that. So we should probably get an update from him just to get a feel for how many people are registered. I did finally register yesterday. That was, oh, that was neglectful. I, have, I, haven't, I haven't registered actually, so. I need to fix that. I oh. suspected I was not the only one, which is why I mentioned that. You suspected correctly. <laughs> so the Nod is on vacation. Or, I'm sorry, not the Nod. Uh, uh, Georg is on vacation. Uh, so we, if we need that update prior to FOSDOM, we will probably need to reach out to him and get him to email us that specific information. Because he, uh, I doubt he will be at any meetings prior to uh, ChaosCon. Okay, we can, I wonder. I'm texting wonder, him. Okay, I was Hope gonna say, I'm delivered. sure somebody else has access to that. Um, we just need to find out who, so that we know who to get updates from. Okay. Yeah, the only other thing is, I don't know if he got confirmation from all the speakers. I know there's at least one that hasn't gotten back to us. <laughs> I, did I get back to you? Uh, I think you did. Um, I, thought I mean, I, yeah, I, thought you, I handled I mean, that right away. Like people that are usually on this call, I'm not worried about. It's uh, let me actually look at the schedule. Yeah, we don't have like a couple of slots. We still have like in the afternoon, right after lunch, we still have TBAs. Um, so. Like TBAs, that, like we don't even have people there, or we have people. No, there I mean mix? we accepted like like a afternoon keynote, um, right. Michael Downey, and then I know he was like traveling in December, so let me reping him. Um, but it looks like it's just those two slots that are like we have one in one twenty slots as TBAs. Um, but who is the overseer of the program that will make those be filled? Uh, I mean, I think like both Don and I are part of the programming yeah. committee, so yeah. I need to find I've been the old. There, but... Yeah, I need to find the old spreadsheet and see where we are. Well, let me get on that. Let me know if you need help reaching out to people. Yeah, Could I thanks. put an action item for anyone for these two slots? Uh, yeah, just put put me on there, and I forget Don was the afternoon keynote also like your like a 20 minute slot or is it 40 minutes? Like, I wonder why there are two that are TBAs. But. I don't, I don't know. We'll have to look at the, we'll have to look at the schedule spreadsheet. I wonder if it just happened to be that the person that was talking after Michael hasn't confirmed either. Yeah. I'm not sure. Like I'm still a bit of a hay in a haze after the holidays. So. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Let me see if I can track that down. Yeah, I found a document. Oh yeah, it's two different people. Okay. Uh, Cecilia and Michael Downey. Like 
like Cecilia is like waiting for some approval. Like, I don't know what that means. Probably budget to travel. Yeah, probably. I guess. Yeah. So yeah, Michael Downey, I think Georg put it in as a wall, but let me follow up with them. But, okay. Yeah, it looks like both are 20 minutes. Okay. So. Yeah, I was curious about the registration number too. I had a colleague of mine, like who's in Brussels, register. So there's at least one more from. Who is emailing you for the confirmation and registration? Uh, I'm sorry, Vinod. Can you repeat that, please? Who is emailing you for getting registration updation? Uh, it, Sean, were you texting Georg about I the registration? I sent him a text. I okay. sent him a text. I don't know if he'll, he, I mean, I usually have my text on when I'm in Europe, but he's there for a long time, so maybe he won't. Um, I can also email him. Yeah, he's been, he's been responsive, so uh, I've, I've uh, emailed him and texted him a couple times, so. Okay. I'll email him as well. Yeah, I think he's on riot, or he was on riot at nine o'clock in the morning. I don't know what I actually don't know what riot is. Like, oh, the like gaming? I, no, I, IRC, I guess. I'm oh, okay. And yeah, I haven't said that word in like a, two decades, so. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Okay, next agenda item is Community report. Uh, and Georg and I own those two things. So um, there's no update other than I have reports and I'm trying to, I'm working on getting it to Zephyr. Is there going to be don't... something presented? Uh, at uh, ChaosCon? Yeah, there, there will be. Reports? Okay. I expect there to be. Uh... Is that an is that part of an individual presentation or will that be kind of the, the state of the union? Uh... I don't, I don't recall. I don't recall. Probably state of the union type stuff. Software updates. I don't. I don't have any big auger updates. We've just been. It's been kind of a slow burn for the beginning of break, and we're just starting to get at it again. Uh, Matt Snell, do you have any DNI badging updates? I think you're on mute. Matt, you're muted. Matt Snell is muted. Sorry about that. No um, I started the repo today. I started the process of kind of um, flushing out the project right now. So it, it's not very far yet, but it's been started. Okay. That's that's the update there. Not surprisingly, many of us have very little to say because we're just trying to get our bearings. Are there any other my editors that anyone wants to bring up for this call? I think we've got some important follow up items with reviewing metrics and getting the registration information from Georg. As far as the reviewing metrics go, if the if the work group maintainers could kind of reach out to everyone and encourage them to uh, take a look at these documents and, and review them, it would be quite helpful. This, the, the 24 days will, uh, will go very fast. Yeah, it will, especially since we're seven days into it. Yeah, I'll put that on the agenda. We have a common meeting on 
Thursday. So I think we'll probably just use the entire time to just kind of walk through everything. Excellent. Make sure things look good. Yeah. And I guess probably, I don't think anybody probably showed up for the risk meeting because CES is this week. Uh, two people showed up, I think. Oh, did they? Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Like I said, I was, I was 10 minutes late though. And uh, when I got there, everyone was gone. Okay. Who showed up? I wonder. In, uh, not sure. in value, there were two people only. In the value metric group, there were two people only on the Friday. Okay. If you look at the risk document, uh, I think it tells you who was there. Okay. I'll take a look later. Um, any other things that people want to cover? Um, Matt asked me to shepherd the call. I'm going to say, I think we're kind of done. <laughs> um, I guess this is the first call of the month. So it's supposed to be a sort of a general larger call, but I don't think we have anything more to talk about other than see you all at FOSDEM and ChaosCon, or many of you anyway. Or at the common meeting on Thursday. Yes, exactly. Everyone come to the common meeting on Thursday. All right. I'm going to say, uh, if, anybody, if nobody objects, I'm going to say great call, everyone, and uh, <laughs> talk to you all soon. Thanks, everybody. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Uh, Kevin, um, are you still around? I guess you're muted.